A very good morning folks, I hope you're all doing well. Happy match day, Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. This is your first time coming across the channel, please hit the subscribe button below. A thumbs up or a comment below would be fantastic. Just before I go to work, get a quick video done. So Celtic are looking at two strikers at the moment to add to the squad before the end of January transfer window. The window's not even open yet and we've already made basically three additions. We're just on the verge of of signing another Japanese defensive midfielder as I spoke about Awate on the channel. So Sovakin striker, six foot five, his name is Yaroslav Amasi. He plays for Banak Ostrava in the Czech Republic. He played against us in the preseason over the summer. Six foot five. He's at the scoring five goals in seven appearances so far in the Czech League. He's been capped for Slovakia eight times and reports in Czech Republic that Celtic are willing to put a bid in of 2.2 million for him. Now he's two years left on his current deal. Looking at the guy, kind of very similar to Yakimakis, tall, physical, you know, it's suit Ange Ball. I don't know if it's the rumours are true, to be honest with you. It's all speculation, but I can't see Celtic going out to the Czech Republic and buying something from the Czech market. We don't usually go for, you know, Eastern European leagues and that's to be honest which is we don't the only one that we've really went for is the Russian league we've scaled the Russian league obviously we bought Hakas Babanovic we got Starfelt and then Obligard from Rupin Gazan so usually we have a reputation going for Rupin Gazan players but let's see what happens with regards to Al Masi if, it, if it's true or not we've been talking a lot about the World Cup South Korean forward as well Cho Gi Sung now he's 21 years of age He's six foot one. He currently plays for your book, Hyundai Motors, and he's looking to leave to go to Europe. Over the last twenty four hours, two South Korean outlets have reported that Celtic are the favourites to land him, and the asking price they're looking at is three point one million. Now I think that's actually a pretty decent fee for a guy that's literally played in the World Cup, scored a couple of goals in the World Cup. Had a partnership with Sung off Tottenham as well. Clicked him really well. And, you know, 24 goals in 47 appearances in the K-League, in the Asian Champions League and other competitions in Asia as well. Very tall, physical, like very similar to Al Masi. We're kind of, if Yakimakis does go, he's up goes out of the club it means that we have a tall player for them long balls or the crosses in which i think celtic are not getting enough goals this season from headers and that's to be gone on which is start of the season we look quite you know clinical when it came to that type of play but we haven't so that's really it for me let's see what happens with regards to al Masi. are we going to sign a six for five player for 2.2 million or are we going to go out and pay 3.1 million for this south korean world cup star Comment below, let me know what you think, or you just think we should scrap it and just go for Yakamakis and keep him at the club and give him a new deal. Hell, hell.